Andrea Ashworth's memoir, Once in a House on Fire, is a haunting, heart-wrenching account of her childhood and adolescence, set against the backdrop of the poverty-stricken streets of Manchester in the 1980s and 90s. The book traces Ashworth's journey from a hopeful, book-loving child to a troubled, rebellious teenager, and ultimately to a young woman struggling to come to terms with her past and find her place in the world. One of the most striking aspects of Ashworth's writing is her vivid and evocative descriptions of the physical world around her. From the cramped, squalid conditions of her family's council flat to the desolate landscape of the moors where she goes to escape, Ashworth paints a powerful picture of a world that is both bleak and beautiful. Her use of sensory detail, the smell of cigarette smoke and mold, the sound of a dripping tap, the taste of cheap candy, brings the reader deep into her world, allowing us to feel the same sense of isolation, fear, and longing that she does. At the heart of the book is Ashworth's relationship with her mother, who is both the source of her greatest comfort and her deepest pain. Throughout the book, Ashworth portrays her mother as a complex, flawed, and deeply human figure, struggling to raise three children on her own in the face of poverty, abuse, and addiction. Ashworth's love for her mother is palpable in every page, even as she acknowledges the ways in which her mother's own demons have shaped her life and the lives of her children. It is a testament to Ashworth's skill as a writer that she is able to hold these contradictions together, never allowing her portrayal of her mother to become simplistic or one-dimensional. Another key theme of the book is the impact of poverty and abuse on Ashworth's own psyche. From a young age, she is forced to navigate a world in which violence and neglect are a constant presence, and where the adults around her are unable or unwilling to protect her. As she grows older, she turns to increasingly destructive behaviors, stealing, drinking, drugs, in an attempt to numb the pain and escape the reality of her life. Yet even as she falls deeper into this spiral, Ashworth never loses her innate intelligence and sensitivity, or her fierce desire for something better. In many ways, Once in a House on Fire can be read as a coming-of-age story, chronicling Ashworth's journey from childhood to adulthood. Yet unlike many such stories, Ashworth's is marked by a sense of loss and tragedy that is never fully resolved. Even as she begins to build a new life for herself at Oxford, she remains haunted by the memories of her past, and by the knowledge that she can never fully escape the scars that it has left on her. It is a testament to her resilience and courage that she is able to tell her story with such honesty and clarity, even as she acknowledges the ways in which it continues to shape her life. Ultimately, Once in a House on Fire is a book about survival, both of the individual and of the human spirit. Through her beautifully written and deeply moving memoir, Ashworth reminds us of the power of the human heart to endure, even in the face of unimaginable hardship and pain. It is a book that will stay with you long after you finish it, a testament to the enduring power of literature to inspire, to challenge, and to heal.